everyone, welcome back to Gun to Build Guide. My name is Mir Buster Green, and I only need 43 people to get monetized. 43? Oh my god, that's like such a small number. Um, shit, just help me. Ah, that's so close. All right, anyway, here's your build guide for the week. This is not the best uh, week, uh, I gotta say. I'm just kind of making the video for the sake of making the video. So last week we covered that the Japanese store Caspa made a $700 half a pilot suit which is basically just cosplay pajamas. And this week we have a follow-up on that expensive Cospa Hathaway's pilot suit outfit. Bandai Fashion Collection, that's apparently a thing, has decided to release the pants from Hathaway's Flash. Not Hathaway's pants, it's apparently just the standard pants that many Matthew members wore at one time during the movie. Now unfortunately, the Hathaway's pants cost $154. It's also implied from this photo that there might be a jacket that matches the pants, but currently there's no info on the jacket, just that the pants are out. Okay, enough about pants. Going to break a mobile. Alright, so we have a new scenario mission this week, a new multiplayer mission this week, a new custom mission this week, and no new pull banners. Since there's no new pull banners, out of boredom I pulled on the Nightingale again because I got a lot of people on my feed like bragging about how like they got the whole thing and how they at least got the legs. So that made me a little bit jealous, and I tried again, I at least lucked out to get the B-Max. So I adjusted my build for the week to account for that. Anyway, going over the scenario mission this week, it's the Gundam X. And I made a totally pimped out Titans Gundam X for the Gundam X vs Gundam X scenario mission. And gotta say, it was actually a lot of fun. I did have to fully max out the head and the gun to finish the mission. But other than that, it was a really fun mission, and I had a great time with it. Plus, this Gundam X uh, Titans paint job is like probably one of like the coolest random custom paint jobs I've made in a while. I'm very proud of it, and I liked it a lot. Next up, the multi-mission. This week, it's the Reflasia again. Back and Somehow, my Barbados Black is not doing as well as it used to, so I started to feel a little antiquated. I did a major refit on it this week to upgrade its strength and better hold off this sort of mission. Despite that, though, I kept making a bunch of bad plays in the mission by wasting my Demon's Hunt because somehow I mixed up the button for that in Albert Toss. Anyway, aside from that, there's a new custom mission this week. The custom mission is also related to Gundam X. I made my own mission and I got like 45 billion points. Um, play my mission if you're curious. Then I proceeded to play a bunch of other players' missions because I want to clear out the uh, custom mission quota for the week. I had varying levels of success and fail playing against other people's missions. This asshole here killed me with a black bear guy, so that went straight to my dignity. Anyway, that's about it, you guys. Really not that too much going on with Gundam or Gundam Breaker Mobile this week. Just that the Witch for Mercury is in still, like, full steam ahead mode and uh, more memes keep coming out, like, every day. So that's, like, hilarious. Yeah, otherwise, I guess I'll see you guys next week for my uh, next uh, G-Witch review. All right, thanks for stopping in. Later, guys.